Today we discuss uh, Dirac delta function. Um, after the gamma function and beta function, the special function uh, that we discuss is the Dirac delta function. It's a function um, that is used to get a precise notation for uh, you know, for dealing with quantities having a certain type of infinity, a certain kind of infinity. Okay, so it's a special type of function which we use to represent quantities having a certain type or kind of infinity. The kind of infinity is this a quantity having infinitely high, infinitely high, and infinitely narrow peak. Infinitely high and infinitely narrow peak. For example, it's used for the description of impulsive force. Impulsive force is a uh, large force which uh, um, you know um, acts for a very short time interval. Okay, it's an impulsive force. It's, it's used to represent charge density for a uh, point charge. And it is used to represent nuclear force. Nuclear force, you know, that is the strongest force in nature, but it is a such a short range force. Okay, so it acts in a very narrow uh, region. So such type of quantities having uh, kind of uh, infinitely uh, high, uh, infinitely high, and infinitely narrow peak. For that we use Dirac delta function. So here you see the picture of the Dirac delta function. Uh, it has, uh, you know, infinitely high, infinitely small, infinitely uh, narrow spike. Okay. So here what we are doing is we are taking x here. This is x is taken here this is x and uh, and here we have the delta x and here we have x equal to 0 ok x equal to 0 so at x equal to 0 we see the function delta x which is taken on the y axis it has a you know, large value and this thing this is this has to be very narrow this is narrow uh, narrow, uh, narrow width very narrow and a very high peak so this is the um, Dirac delta function then the mathematically the Dirac delta function is uh, uh, shown here delta x is 0 delta x is 0 if x is x not equal to 0 and delta x is infinity when x equal to 0 okay so the narrow uh, fee, the narrow peak and along with this so this is the first condition along with this we have this minus infinity 2 plus infinity delta x dx that is equal to 1 what that means is the area area is equal to 1 okay that is this so this is the second condition uh, to be satisfied for the uh, Dirac delta function okay so delta x is 0 if x not equal to 0 delta x is infinity if x equal to 0 along with that we have the condition minus infinity to plus infinity delta x dx that is equal to 1 the area equal to 1 but technically delta x is not a function at all since its value is not finite at x equal to 0 okay or something to be a function it has to be finite everywhere but this function this is not finite at x equal to 0 
So in the mathematical literature, it is known as a generalized function of distribution. Okay, generalized function of uh, distribution. Okay. Now we discuss a um, very important uh, fact about the Dirac delta function. Suppose f of x is any function. Okay, f of x is any function, and if you take f of x delta x, you will be getting f of zero delta x. Okay, if you take f of x delta x, that will be equal to f of zero delta x. Then this is the most important fact about the delta function. Why? Because you know delta x is zero everywhere except x equal to zero. Okay, so we need to consider since we are taking the product, we need to consider only x equal to zero. So there f of zero. Okay. Then, once uh, we have got this f of x delta x equal to um, f of 0 delta x, we can say um, integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of x delta x dx, okay, f of x delta x dx. This is equal to um, minus infinity to plus infinity f of 0 delta x dx and I can take this f of 0 here outside the integral okay I can take f of 0 outside so what is remaining in the integral is uh, delta x dx only okay so only f of delta x dx f of 0 is coming outside so uh, what we get is since the minus integral minus infinity to plus infinity delta x dx equal to 1 since it is 1 we will be getting f of 0 here okay so uh, this is a important result uh, regarding the Dirac delta function another interesting thing is we can shift the spike from x equal to 0 to some other point x equal to 8. Earlier we had got this spike, this spike at uh, x equal to 0. Okay, but the spike can be at another point say a, x equal to a. Okay, that also is possible. So, uh, that is shown here. See what we have is delta x minus a here. So, what we have is delta x minus a here. And see, this is x equal to 0. The spike is now at x equal to a. See, the spike is now at x equal to a. Again, the area is 1. So, the definition is this. Delta x minus a, that is equal to, that is actually uh, equal to 0. That is equal to 0 if x not equal to a and it is infinity if x equal to a and uh, this uh, integral minus infinity plus infinity delta x minus a dx this is equal to 1 this is equal to 1 okay so this is the Dirac delta function okay this is the Dirac delta function when uh, the spike is at uh, x equal to a okay now as we wrote earlier i can write f of x delta x minus a as equal to f of x delta x minus a is equal to f of a delta x minus a okay because f of x uh, sorry the delta x minus a is non-zero only at x equal to a Okay, so one can write f of x delta x minus a is equal to f of a delta x minus a. Also, minus infinity to plus infinity f of x delta x minus a dx is equal to f of a. It is equal to f of a. Okay, because uh, of this, because of this, I can write it as equal to 
of hockey also another uh, way of writing the delta function you see here uh, we have this minus integral minus infinity plus infinity f of y okay f of y delta x minus y dy delta x minus dy that is equal to f of x okay see here what is varying y is varying and when x delta x minus y uh, you know kind of delta x minus y this is equal to 0 when x not equal to y okay so delta x minus y is 0 when x not equal to y and it is equal to infinity when x equal to y so this is what delta x minus y is okay so we get this uh, 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 result so this is how we uh, define and uh, um, define the Dirac delta function.